Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another NECA Toys action figure review on two separate figures that are sold separately. We are looking at the Alien Big Chap Ultimate Edition and the Alien Space Marine Drake Kenner inspired figure. If you're trying to get your NECA Toys, you can do so at Megalopolis City of Collectibles, where they can find all your NECA Toys and they have an awesome rewards points program when you order for them so you can get some free goodies. Check them out. Link in in the description below and big thanks to NECA toys for providing these samples to review for you guys if you want to see the latest from NECA check the link below in the description again these are sold separately over here so it's not a two-pack or anything you can see the Kenner inspired NECA logo right over the well right over there at the bottom sorry you could not see that it says Space Marine Drake and you can see it says aliens on the top and it does come with a Dark Horse comic book. And you can see all these other figures right over here. And then there's little read-ups and all that stuff. And then not much more at the bottom. Except for all the people responsible for creating the figure. And can you see their names? There you go. You can see their names, right? right, right. Just pause it if you want to read it. And then you can see for the big chap right here, which I've obviously opened. We get the Velcro that holds it together. You can see the Xenomorph right over there. And then on the side, you get the pods of the eggs right over there. And then on the back, you get all these product shots and everything. It says Alien. Alien on the top. And once again, all the people responsible for creating the figure, which is always a cool thing. I'm glad that NECA does this. You know what I mean? I always thought it's neat to know the names of the people that make the figures. So let's get to it and crack these things open. I'm going to start with the big chap right over here. And not a whole ton of new going on with this figure, but it does look great. I really like this new head sculpt. Very awesome looking. And then, of course, the paint apps and paint detail and all that stuff just came out really good on this figure. I really do like it. I mean, man, look at that. The head sculpt really makes me happy because it's the big chap head sculpt. And to me, this looks a lot more film accurate than some of the other figures I've seen out there. For instance, like this, the eye socket thing, that's very, you know, it definitely had the eye sockets sticking out, but like you could barely see them in the movie, it, from what I remember anyway. And this, it's like they're there, but you can barely see them, and that's exactly how I wanted that to be. You can see that awesome sculpt, awesome, oh, happened to my voice right there, but you can see that awesome sculpt right over there, underneath the clear plastic. Looking really good. You get some black fading right over here. And if you're noticing any uh, scuffage right over here, that's my fault. I do have a carpet here in the garage, and I accidentally bumped into the figure and knocked it over, and I just barely missed the carpet and bumped into the concrete. I was so upset. But anyway, uh, on the side right over here, I try to be careful with my figures. I really do, and it just really bums me out when that happens, especially on the freaking face. But you can see, you know, the inner mouth coming out right over there. And we've seen this body mold many times before. Uh, we've seen this Xenomorph body mold and the paint apps and everything just look fantastic on it. So, really good looking figure. I do like it. And we get the bendy tail and all that stuff going on and toe articulation and peg holes at the bottom of the feet, of course. So, good looking figure and good looking accessories that, again, we've seen before. This is an ultimate uh, chap. So, uh, big chap anyway. Um, and... And so like with these ultimate figures they tend to you know want to include everything so you get the face hugger right here looking great I actually I've seen these face huggers before but I ain't noticed that detail right over there I like to call these testicular crab it just kind of cracks me up but that looks really good wow can you imagine one of these things grabbing you by the face man so horrifying I mean just even seeing one of these things crawling around I would just freak out you know spiders and all that stuff and then like you know and like snaky kind of I don't know it's like a snake and a spider or a rat spider kind of creature thing that plants eggs inside your body so freaky but yeah I love that that looks great very cool and then the bendy wire ends uh, I want to say around right here so that's cool you can move that around and then you also get a little baby alien <laughs> pops out of your stomach so gross so awesome i love that it's covered in blood and everything could you imagine one of these popping out of your stomach oh my god jeez but yeah very cool and then the bendy wire ends i want to say around there so that goes pretty far we've seen this before then you get the eggshell and or the pod anyway that looks great NECA just kills it with the paint detail and sculpt man awesome just man stan winston would be proud man i think he would i think he would all right, and let's uh, get this reconnected because we have the floor piece right over here. So that's really neat looking. I like all the little tendril pieces and everything. So that just connects like that, and it looks very fluid. 
Looks like it's one piece instead of two pieces connected together. So I love that. Very, very cool, man. I like it. Uh, just to give it a quick comparison to uh, the SH Figure Arts. Um, I just wanted to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Big Chap because this always annoyed me about this figure of how it's like you get big old skull right over there, right in the middle. And I guess there may be images out there of Big Chap looking like this. But again, I always thought that the big old eye sockets right there were always just way more subtle than what we're seeing right over here. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, I, I like how this came out a little bit more, or definitely a bit more. And then um, let's get into Space Marine Drake. So here's Space Marine Drake, and um, this is a very cool looking figure. This is definitely inspired by the toy and everything. Uh, it does come with a whole bunch of accessories that are a little bit tricky to manipulate. I did uh, watch this other action figure reviewer. Uh, this guy just started making YouTube videos like, I don't know, a week ago or something like that. He's brand new on the scene. You, you probably haven't heard of him before, but you know, I watched his review on this figure and it actually helped me out a bit. Um, if you want to look him up, his name is Pixel Dan. And, uh, just kidding, I just had to get a little zing right out of Pixel Dan. But I honestly did watch Pixel Dan's review, and it did help. I'm having a hard time getting this bayonet, or this double-edged spike thing that he comes with, attached to his back. I just feel like the hole right over here just is not deep enough for either of these ports to properly go in there. So that's uh, a bit troublesome for me. I'm probably going to have this just displayed right over here like a bayonet, so... That looks a little bit cooler to me. I like that. And this whole gun system is really cool, man. It's supposed to, you know, emulate the toy and everything. And it comes in a couple of pieces. So you have to attach it into the back right over here. And then you have to attach it to the gun. And this piece comes off and it comes with a secondary piece that comes out of here, which you don't need at all, which I thought was just really weird. And this doesn't connect as well as I'd like it to. Uh, this is a bit frustrating. You can see it does connect, but it does pop off easily as I just took it off right there. So I wish they had like a stronger support system for that so it could stay connected. So it'll work, it's just tricky to do. And then getting this configuration set up right over here, like I literally had to have a computer on and me opening the toy w while watching the video. And uh, you know, so look for that triangle shape going in the front, you know what I mean? That really helped. And the handle right over here, I like the little detail with the red button. So. The accessory does look really good and everything. And then NECA's, you know, plastic quality isn't really, you know, uh, they, they haven't been known for having the greatest. So when you're messing around with it, you know, be careful with it. Definitely be careful with it. Like just getting it out of the packaging, um, I could see this piece right over here kind of getting tempted to, to break off on me. Even though it's not anywhere near breaking or anything at the moment, it's just I, I could see it whiting. Or uh, I, could, I was able to see some a little bit of stressing right over here. I was like, oop, oop, da, da, da. Well, it's just paint coming off maybe, but just a little bit scared, but you know, it's been all right so far. And the figure looks good. I love that mean expression that he has right there. Wow, that is, yeah, he's ready to go, man. And then you can see right over here, that headpiece looks good, the hair looks good. And the, articu uh, the, the articulation, uh, all the sculpt and paint apps and everything are top notch right over here. Big old buff arm and all that stuff, so looking really good, man. And then you get the camo pants right there, looking pretty sweet. I'm not going to thoroughly go through the articulation. He doesn't have boot rotation right here, but he does have good ankle pivot. And it does move around. It's on a ball joint right here. So, you know, you are you guys are used to the articulation that we see on these figures. Nothing really new as far as that goes. I'm going to go ahead and leave this right over here, though. And you also get some bonus stuff, which I like. You can see uh, that we get a little comic book, which my oldest daughter loves these. Like the Scorpion Alien comic books. Like, she... <laughs> It's so cute. She makes up her own stories because we read to her every day. Uh, mostly Charlita One does it, but you know I do it too. And um, so she'll make up a story reading the comic book. Like she'll just make up a story based off of the pictures that she sees. So it's very cute, and uh, I like that they included these. These are fun. So I like this, and it does come with a sticker sheet. So that's pretty neat too. You got your America right over there. Drake right there. So you can throw these on the weapon, throw these on the figure if you want to give them some tattoos. So you can make that work if you would like. So let's get a couple of size comparisons right over here. Um, I do have uh, a Pwn right here, another Kenner inspired figure. So here's a Pwn. Looking badass. Pretty sweet. I don't know about the height difference between these two. 
I feel like they should be closer to the same height. Looks like Drake is a bit larger though. And then here we have the Aliens Vasquez. I don't know where I put her weapon, but yeah, I like Vasquez a lot. Vasquez is cool. And then, yeah, if this actress was around, there's like so many superhero characters I feel like she could play. That would be pretty awesome to do. All right, but yeah, there we go. Not looking too bad. And get a little zoom out. All right, sorry about that. You know, no edits right now, but I will have a fully edited video for you guys later today. So yeah, man, it's about, you know, six inches tall. You guys know the height of these. Um, just to be thorough though, let's just get them standing up right here. Just measure them out really quick for you guys because I know you kind of want to see that, right? Yeah, just a little over the seven inch mark. There you go. So very cool seeing these figures side by side over here. Pretty neat, man. And yeah, I, you know, I, I like the big chap a lot, so um, I'm going to give that a sud rating of, I love it, and I like this Drake figure too, it's just that this whole system right over here is is really weird, so I'm going to give this a, eh, it's not so bad, but I really like the details and the sculpt on it and everything too, so very cool looking figure. I want to know what you guys think, let me know in the comments section below, and please hit that like button and subscribe button as well as the notification bell and i shall have a fully edited video coming to you guys later today stay tuned and i'll catch you guys later peace